Hello people, my name is Frederico Bender Chigeman and I'm here to present our paper titled An Alternative to Power Measure for Fuzzy Rule Based Classification Systems. This paper was made by me, Baron Stefan Galani Pernambuco, and professors Giancarlo Luca, Eduardo Nunes Borges, Elida Santos, Graça Liz Pereira de Muro, José Antonio Sanz, and Umberto Bustinci. Here we have a summary of this presentation, which starts by introduction discussing some concepts. After that, the preliminaries from the paper, then using the Sugino Lambda on the FRM, then the experimental study, and finally the conclusions. One of the modern problems of computing science is to classify data based on their characteristics. For that, we use supervised machine learning algorithms in order to find a model or a function that describes the different classes from a dataset. We have many different heuristics to solve this type of problem. Some of them are the neural networks, decision trees, the support vector machine, and the fuzzy rule-based classification systems, which is the heuristic chosen for this study. The fuzzy rule-based classification systems, FRBCS, commonly provides an interpretable model supported by linguistic terms also achieving good performances. It has two main components, the knowledge base, KB, which stores the information about the problem, and the fuzzy reasoning method, FRM, which performs an inference procedure using the information stored in the KB to classify new examples. So let's understand a little more of how the selected type of algorithm works. And for that, we need to go a little more deep on the problem, the FRM. RM is where the data was learned and where the magic happens. Of course, he makes all the hard work for us, and it could do it with many different ways. By using the winning rule that selects the biggest value from the association degrees of class, we also can use the additive combination, or still the choked integral, who is more complex, but in general have better accuracy in the results. So we propose to use this aggregation function, whose I will talk more about shortly. Our approach is applied in the FRM of the Fuzz Association Rule-Based Classification Method for High Dimensional Problems, the FARC-HD, a state-of-the-art fuzzy classifier. Moreover, this classifier is the same one used as basis of the application of different generalizations of the choked integral. It's important to highlight you that past studies with the choked didn't consider the relationship between the association degrees from a class itself. So, the objective of this work is to implement the Sugino Lambda measure combined with the choked integral in the FRM of the FARC HD classifier with the purpose of comparing the performance of this approach with other knows in the literature. For example, the exponential cardinality Power measure. So, in summary, we have the FARC classifier using a knowledge base together with the choked integral, which can have different measures inside, and are we going to compare two of them? But you ask me, what is a choked integral? And what are the measures to use? Okay, I will show you now. Take a look here. To understand more about how the choked integral works, first you need to know what is a fuzzy measure. And it's very simple, basically it's a continuous value between 0 and 1, like 0 0.1 or 0 0.54 or every value you could think between the mentioned interval. The fuzzy measure describes how strong or weak a characteristic is in particular. For example, a people with 30 years old has a characteristic named as old man. Maybe the fuzzy measure of this characteristic be like 0.32 for this case, but for a people with 60 years old the old man named characteristic must be 0.84, which means that he is older than the, the other mention, but without taking away the fact that the first man also has a degree of old age. In this way, it becomes possible to standardize the data and make better use of the information they give to us. Okay, so the aggregation functions are responsible for capturing the set of parameters and have found the best value that represents them. In our case, the choked integral is the function used to aggregate the fuzzy measures, evaluating the relationship between the elements to be aggregated. Now, the power measure. It was introduced 
in the same study that introduced the FRM, that used the choked integral as aggregation operator. The power measure is an improvement of the cardinality or uniform measure, which has an exponent q that is genetically learned. You can see the equation below. Consequently, for each class of the problem, this formula behaves like a different fuzzy measure by learning the most appropriate exponent. Note that if q is equal to 1, this measure behaves as the cardinality or the uniform measure. The choked integral is an averaging aggregation function that models the interactions between the variables. You can see how it works in the following equation, where the x values represent the association degrees obtained from the best rules in the class, and the ma value represents the fuzzy measure used. In this study, it would be the power measure or the Sugen lambda in order to compare them. But if you want, there are many other ways to get this fuzzy measure. We already talked about this power measure. So now you need to know the Sugen lambda. It's one of the most successful classes of fuzzy measures that model the relationship between the data. Once it takes into account the given association degrees to calculate the lambda and the fuzzy value to be aggregated. As you can see in the first equation, the measure is obtained by adding two variables plus a lambda value multiplied by the same two initial numbers. And the lambda is founded by solving the generated polynomial equation when made use of the second equation shown here. Uh, in this study, we propose the usage of the Choga integral aggregation function combined with the Sugeno lambda fuzzy measure as mentioned earlier. The Sugeno was implemented with Java, using the Flanagan's library to solve the polynomial equation. Ok, let's make the summary of everything that was shown to you until now. Basically, we choose a classifier of the type fuzzy rule-based classification system, named FARC HD, that has a FRM method called Chogad Integral, and we propose the use of the fuzzy measure Sugeno lambda inside of it to compare with another famous fuzzy measure, the power measure. Having passed the necessary knowledge to better understand what this classifier is and how it is structured, let's go to an example of how the values are aggregated and the data is classified. Consider the class 1 with the following association degrees 0 0.1, 0 0.8 and 0 0.9. Using the power measure inside the choked, we are notice that the result will be 0.6. The second lambda needs to find our lambda first. It will generate a polynomial equation, find our roots, and catch the root that is a real value bigger than minus 1. After that, using the another equation of the second lambda, it will aggregate the value one by one using the lambda and put your own results on the choked integral returning 0.83 in this case. And if you use a simple, simple winning rule as FRM, then the value return will be 0.9, that is the bigger number on the set. Here we have how the data are calculated for the second class, but it's the same way the algorithm found the results of the class 1, ok? So now I want to show to you what you can see with the results obtained in this example. At the left, we have the association degrees from class 1 and 2, and on the right, the results of the FRM using different heuristics. With both, you are seeing the predicted class for that heuristic. Analyzing the table on the right for both fuzzy measures studied, the Sugen and the power measure, the class 2 would be the predicted class. However, for the class 1, the Sugen lambda measure computed a higher value than the power measure. Which means that, for Sugeno lambda measure, the relationship of that class for power measure is stronger, because Sugeno models the relationship between the data. In this study, we conducted an experimental composed by 27 different datasets. Selected from key repository, we use a five-fold cross-validation process. The measure of performance of this classifier was the accuracy rate, 
As fuzzy measures we consider the power measure and the Sugeno lambda. We use the FARC HD as classifier. Here we have the configuration of it, for example, 5 layers per variable, minimum support of 0.05, minimum confidence of 0.8, the maximum depth of tree search was 3, and we also carried a statistical study using the Wilkinson test. In the table, you can see that the accuracy on child using different fuzzy measures applied to the 27 real-world datasets. Each row represents the average accuracy rate obtained in the five-fold datasets, and each column represents the choked integral combined with distinct fuzzy measures, like the power measure and the Sugeno lambda. Uh, we'll highlight that the most uh, acquired result for each dataset is in boldface. Analyzing the table, we can see that for all of the 27 datasets used, the power measure excelled in 13 datasets when compared to Sugeno lambda. However, the final accuracy average is close for both fuzzy measures, being 79.2% for power measure and 78.46% for Sugeno lambda. In order to have a more precise and conclusive result, we also performed a pairwise statistical test. Precisely, we have applied the non-parametric Wilcoxon rank test. The results related with this test are available in the shown table, where R plus represents the rank obtained by the Sugeno lambda as a fuzzy measure, and R minus is the ranking related with the power measure. Analyzing the results obtained, one can observe that the power measure achieves a superior rank. However, considering a level of confidence of 5%, the null hypothesis is accepted, thus indicating that there are no statistical differences between these approaches. With the 27 real-world datasets used on this study, we have shown that in most of the cases power measure still performs better than the proposed Sugeno lambda measure, despite reaching close results. To corroborate our findings, we made use of Wilcoxon test, supporting that power measure achieves a super rank, notwithstanding, considering a level of confidence of 5%, the Sugeno lambda measure can be equivalent to PM. We highlight that this methodology appears to be a good strategy to improve the classification system quality, once the results obtained using Sugeno lambda measure models the relationship between the data while the power measure does not allow that. So thanks for watching, have a nice day, and if you have some questions, please write me some email. Bye bye.